Hmm. Wonder what's down that way. Something weirdly familiar about that bird. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Uh -huh. mm, I don't want to give him anything that could re-trigger his hoarding problem. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing down here? They all turned on me. After all I've done for them. <laughs> How long do you think they'll keep you locked up? You know, I'm not even worried for myself. But what did they do with all my stuff? Have any regrets? I should have never abandoned my underwater commune. Now that was a sweet gig. I just got so sick of fish, you know? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Mm. <clears throat> What's Harmony doing in that cage? Father carried him down here and stuffed him in. Told us not to let him out. Said he was getting rid of some trash the town didn't need anymore. I'm sure he'll let him back out eventually. Or maybe a big monster will come and eat him. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? I want to say no, but I'm worried the answer is yes. Um, do you know this guy? No one should ever have to go to a maiden's feast. And no one ever will again, if I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool with that. What exactly is a maiden's feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela. So proud of her. So foolish. So... Maiden's feasts are bad, then? My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls. For nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter. To beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, please be my mother. What were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mogchothra pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure, honey. Maybe he was under attack by, like, enemy forces or something. Um... Who are you again? My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. Fixing spaceships? No, we don't have many of those around here. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh. Fat lot of good it did me. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material... Maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, exciting. Oh. So, can you make me one of those? Oh, that's adorable. How old is your baby? 
Oh, it's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I suppose I could use this for a reference. There's my can-do gal. Just get me the material you want for your giant baby onesie and we're good to go. It's not a... Oh, never mind. Be right back with the material. stole the material for those robes and you should give them back. He stole years of our lives. How's he gonna give those back, huh? I'll fight you for those robes no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up. But I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals, so if you have another stick handy... We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah. We'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, that's what the Dead Eye God said. Every leaf is a miracle. Mighty tree. Want to buy a cupcake? It's a fundraiser. Such amazing fauna on this planet. I mean, place. Tell him, Rocky. They've got red frosting. Yes. I'm not going near that baby bird. Might be a mama bird around. Yep. Want to trade a spoon for a cupcake? Sir. No trades. I wouldn't have done it, Spoon. Just testing. This guy is weirding me out. Yeah, let's just play dead. Maybe he'll go away. Red Frosting Cupcake! Hi, I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. And about the lies of the Maiden's Feast system. Yeah! Cupcakes against lies. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, us too. But we were all lied to. Yes, yes, we were. See, Rocky? I told you it'd be easy to convince people. Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question. Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions, until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions, rolling on and on and getting bigger and... Bigger. Until it's big enough to take down a whole mog itself. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, you gotta start small. Where are your parents? Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut, getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. And my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the maiden's feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, but I know. Let's just say she's catching dinner. I want a cupcake. 
Great. Got any money? No, but I support your cause. That's great, but we need funds to pay for printing, distribution, baking, frosting. Come back when you get some real cash, okay? Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing persons awareness campaign and revolution by way of cupcakes. That's what I said. Maybe I should... Okay, old man. This time, you're going down! How'd you do that? <sighs>